Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a very large grocery haul, well larger than I normally do, and I thought I would like to share with you some of the foods and items that are our staples that we continue to buy, and some of the new things that we found that are uh, specialty items. If you have a gluten-free diet or some sort of food restrictive diet, I do, and uh, I'm always excited to find new products that fit my food restrictions. And and so I want to share with you some new things that I found so that you know where to get them from, especially if you live in the North Texas area. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. So hopefully this will be helpful to you as it is for me. Okay, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with the things that I've gotten from Walmart. All right, so we're going to be starting from this side here. These are items that we've gotten from Walmart. Okay, so so Walmart has a very good organic produce section. So I really like getting uh, cucumbers from there. They stay fresh longer. They're crispy and juicy. Um, here is a brand called Canyon Bakehouse. This is a gluten-free bread company and I really like their whole grain English muffins. Um, my husband really likes them. My son really likes them. This brand is at Walmart. It varies on what they have from this brand from week to week, but you will find it there. I also like, I'm a huge fan of Walmart's um, organic baby carrots. Um, I personally like using baby carrots even in soups and cutting them up for soups because they have a sweet kind of juicy taste, uh, sweeter than the regular sized carrots, but Walmart has um, both types of carrots organic as well as these are gluten-free tortillas by Mission that you can also find at Walmart. This week I am making uh, a gluten-free enchilada recipe. I wanted to get those. Replenish the mayonnaise. Um, I personally like Kraft because it is gluten-free and I do like the taste. Got replenished some tomato puree. I like this brand. My husband picked up a few enchilada sauces, red and green. Picked up some diced tomatoes, some tangerines here, and organic oranges. Um, or, uh, Walmart has a very good selection of organic oranges. That's from Walmart. Uh, grape tomatoes. So one of the things that we always get is grape tomatoes because my son eats them just as much as he eats Cheerios. So um, grape tomatoes we always get. We always get uh, carrots as well. And we always get oranges and apples too. We also picked up some green chilies for the slow cooker chicken. I'm gonna cook the chicken for the enchiladas and the slow cooker. There's a chicken taco recipe I like to use for that. These apples are also from Walmart. They are the organic gala apples. And sometimes they have organic Fuji and um, Red Delicious sometimes. Okay, so got my we got our son some more toothpaste and diaper ointment. We get the Walmart brand because it's cheaper. Lance, um, my husband and my son love this snack. These are gluten-free peanut butter cracker sandwiches that you can find at Walmart. The um, applesauce packets. Um, this we don't go through very much because we only let our son eat this when we are out and about because these get pretty pricey so they are not something that we let him eat at home. Okay so I have here a few things from Sprouts. These are some finely chopped tomatoes here. Um, <clears throat> this is our first time getting this brand so um, I'll let you know how it is but um, we have some a few crock pot recipes coming up so we're kind of stocking up on the tomatoes. Okay, so here we have some organic black beans and some more organic pears. Okay, so over here we have some chicken. Um, Sprouts has a very good 
brand of organic chicken. This is boneless thighs and boneless chicken breast that we're going to be putting into the crock pot for the chicken tacos. This is wild caught raw shrimp. Um, I was kind of in the mood for a shrimp pasta that I would like to make later on this week, so that's why we got this. Um, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know I love this brand of tortilla. This is a grain-free tortilla. This is just made from potato. They also have a very yummy sweet potato one. And I have been only able to find this at Sprouts so far, but it might be at Whole Foods, I'm not sure. Um, this is also a very yummy brand of ice cream. If you are dairy free and um, cane sugar free, which I am, um, I shouldn't say I'm completely dairy free. I can have butter without too many bad consequences. Um, it's a very yummy cane sugar free um, ice cream. This is the chocolate flavor. It's flavored, uh, sweetened with honey and bananas and other. <laughs> My son is counting in the background. Yeah, bananas and other uh, fruits. Okay. Got some pico de gallo from the Sprouts Deli. Some organic baby bella mushrooms. I really love the Sprouts brand of hummus. Um, this is a staple that we keep in our house because we just like to eat it for snacks and for salads and things like that. Um, their sage sausage is very yummy too. This brand Swaggerty's um, is at Sprouts. If you like to make sausage patties for breakfast or you'd like to use sausage in your, your turkey dressing or something like that, this is a very good brand. It is also preservative free. Um, yeah, and this is Natural Grocer's brand of, um, of bacon. It is a sugar-free bacon and it is very, very yummy. Um, and this is, um, cheddar cheese from the Sprouts Deli. So this part I'm really excited about. My husband found this brand at Sprouts. This is at Sprouts? Yes. My husband found this brand at Sprouts. It's called Liviva. It is a black bean fettuccine pasta. I've eaten black bean spaghetti before and it's pretty yummy if you are a grain-free person. Um, we're making shrimp pasta this week and um, I wanted a either a chickpea fettuccine or a black bean and this was on sale at Sprouts for $2.99 a bag. So it's on sale right now and i um, very excited about that. These organic limes, I sh should have had them in the Walmart section. This is from Walmart. Some organic garlic, two yellow onions from Sprouts. Organic bananas. Bananas, I don't believe, are on the Dirty Dozen, but once you eat organic bananas, it's really hard to go back because they're just sweeter and they just they just taste completely different. They just taste so good. So if you're looking for a sugar-free jam, I highly recommend this brand. It's called St. Dalfour. It is sweetened with either fruit juice or honey, depending on which flavor you get. This is raspberry and pomegranate. Um, it is very yummy. You can mostly find this at health food stores, but they also sell it now at Target. At least I've seen it at the Target near us. And um, Sprouts, Whole Foods, Natural Grocers sometimes. I haven't seen it at Walmart, so. Um, but if you're looking for a sugar-free jam, this is a really good brand. We got some split peas. I recently made some split pea soup and it was so yummy that we're gonna try to make it again. Uh, maybe once a month or every other month or something like that. Um, this is chickpea pasta. This brand we really like by Bonza. It holds together. It holds its form really well when you're cooking with it and it tastes good. Hemp milk. This is the milk that I drink. I'm the only one who drinks hemp milk in the house, but my son also likes it, but we, we give him flax milk because it is, um, 
since he drinks more milk than I do, flax milk is financially a better choice for him. But he does like hemp milk. I personally prefer this brand. It is the best tasting brand in my opinion. Um, got some more um, dish detergent. Uh, I love 7th generation cleaning products. They clean uh, strangely very well. I also use this dish detergent to clean uh, toilets, sinks, tubs. Um, it, it just cleans very, very well. So these things are from Natural Grocers. I like getting spices in bulk um, and I personally really like Natural Grocers selection of spices because when you use certain spices a lot, I kind of like the idea of having them be organic and Natural Grocers has a good selection of that where you're not paying so much money for good spices. So we got some chili powder, um, a hot blend and a regular blend, some more sea salt, okay, and some more dried cranberries. If you're looking for cranberries that are not sweetened with sugar, you can find them at Natural Grocers. These are apple juice sweetened, as you can see there, and they taste really, really good. Um, my husband found this toothbrush. Um, he got one for him and I. This is a children's one. He really likes this brand now, and um, I have to admit it is very good. I don't know if it's the way it's made, but it does clean your teeth and gums very well if you're looking for a good toothbrush. Um, this is the children's one. And I forgot the eggs hiding back here. I do like Sprouts brand organic cage-free eggs. It's a very good price. Um, but you can also get healthy eggs, well, healthy eggs. You can also get um, cage-free, I forgot what you call the eggs that, um, where the hens have more, even more space to roam than cage-free. Um, but you can find those type of eggs at natural grocers. Sometimes they're on sale, sometimes they're not, so they're a little bit more expensive. The Canyon Bakehouse that I mentioned earlier, this is their bagels. And um, my husband got this from Walmart. Um, he really likes the way they have the product sealed on the inside so that it stays fresh and you don't have to refrigerate it. I personally like to refrigerate breads after I open them because they tend to mold really fast in, in our house for some reason. My husband and my son really love the bagels and the English muffins, which you can find at Sprouts and um, Walmart. So, just like the chickpea pasta that I mentioned before, Bonza also makes a rice that is made from legumes. They also make a chickpea rice that we've tried and we really like it. Um, this will be our first time trying this one. This one is made from chickpeas, red lentils, green peas, potato starch. And they, they use xanthan gum and some sea salt. But um, we, um, like I mentioned, we really like this brand because um, it's grain free and they hold together very well when you cook it. And it tastes close to the normal thing that you would have been used to eating. Um, and this is at Walmart if you're looking for a grain free rice. So most times when people eat grain free rice, they eat the cauliflower rice, which is also good. But sometimes, depending on the recipe that you're making, like if you want to make some Mexican rice or something, sometimes you don't want that cauliflower taste. So I highly recommend this. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try to find the websites to a few of the gluten-free brands that I've mentioned and put the links down in the description box below so that you can go to their website and check and see where that product is sold in your area. Um, especially for the, the yummy um, sugar-free ice cream, the Canyon Creek Bakehouse, <clears throat> sorry, no, the Canyon Bakehouse, as well as uh, Bonza, and as well as this brand of the black bean fettuccine pasta. Um, please like this video if you liked it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button 
and um, I would love for you to connect with me on social media. I'm linking that below. And if you are a new subscriber, please um, leave a comment and say hello. I would love to meet you. And I hope you come around again soon and watch some of my other videos. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.